Okay. Would you want to know why focus is so important in building out your startup? Or perhaps you want to understand how to build the right team to make sure that you're getting where you want to go? Or is automation the way to deliver the right product at the right time to the right customer? All of that and more I discuss in this episode of Sastry in the Making. Tigran Nazarian is my guest from 10web.io. You're really going to like what he has to say about his journey and how they built their company. Enjoy it. Welcome to Sastry in the Making, the podcast that features the people who made the software world what it is today and the leaders who are shaping the future of technology. Here's your host, Matt Wallach. Yes, I am Matt. I am your host. This is Sastry in the Making. I am really excited for today's show. I'm here with Tigran Nazarian. Tigran, welcome. Thank you very much, Matt. Nice to be here with you and talk to you about technology, about business and SaaS. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a great discussion. Let me tell you all about Tigran. He's the CEO and co-founder of 10web.io. This is an AI website builder. It's really unique and innovative tool that's set to change the game of site building forever. Really what happens is the technology allows users to get a fully functional WordPress of any website with a click. You can get a WordPress copy of any website without copying a single line of the original website's code. So that's really interesting. I'm looking forward to learning how that works. Uh, Tigran has a PhD in astronomy and astrophysics. Wow. And he's working with a highly educated and skilled team of of physicists, mathematicians, and PhDs on the development of their AI. So he knows AI inside and out. And I'm excited to learn more. So Tigran, Once again, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So tell me what's going on lately at 10WEM.io and what's coming up for you guys? Well, uh, a couple of words generally about what 10Web is. It's a platform, automated WordPress platform, platform to create WordPress websites in an automatic way using artificial intelligence technologies and uh, optimize them and host them or man- and manage them in an automatic, easy way so that it removes the pain of spending a lot of time for routine manual uh, tasks for creating and managing WordPress websites. So recently, I mean, me- uh, last year, we launched uh, our AI hosting component and all the rest of the platform. We launched the AI Builder in October, uh, it was really nice. We saw great feedback from the community. And in recent months, we are working on automating uh, site optimization. I mean, page speed and uh, how fast web pages are being loaded. And we are working on some other features which will ease the work of web agencies and web developers by saving time. Uh, they use, uh, they spent on uh, doing some manual stuff and to allow them to focus on more creative stuff. That's beautiful. So it's really the web developers and agencies that would use this platform? Not only, not only some consumer type of customers they can also use, although because uh, it's WordPress platform and WordPress is very popular, the most popular site building software, so it's not very easy, of course, but it's not very high, hard as well. So for some tech-savvy people, it's a great solution for creating websites. And uh, we thought about what if we, we can automate site building experience with WordPress and not create some custom one more site builder solution. There are too many uh, site building uh, platforms in the market. Why not help why not to help those people who use WordPress every day uh, by uh, adding automation experience to it? Yeah, I mean, automation is the name of the game. Just speed everything up. I think that's fantastic. So what does 10Web offer that other similar platforms do not have? The base of 10Web platform, it's web hosting. There are several types of web hosting, shared hosting, which uh, are cheap, but they are not good solution. Tech- technologically, they are outdated solutions uh, were created in 
90s and early to, uh, 2000s, but still majority of websites are uh, using uh, shared hosting. There is a better hosting type, it's called managed web hosting, when customers don't need to customize like operational system uh, or they have a better, uh, the company or the platform provides better managing options while allowing them uh, to customize uh, the hosting according their, to their needs. And what we have created, it's an automated platform. It's the next step after managed platform. What is it? What is it? It is. It is. Uh, it allows spend less time on tuning on customizing uh, web hosting. So this is the base of our platform, automated platform. When a, lo a lot of smart decisions and customizations are automatically done under the hood. So a uh, web developer or consumer site owner doesn't need to think about these type of things. So this is one part of our platform. And this is the value we offer, which uh, competitors don't offer, automatic page speed optimization. And it saves a lot of time because uh, one thing is to create, to build a website. And uh, it's a quite painful issue Technol and technological are challenging, automating uh, or optimizing uh, your website. You need to be at, at least a tech ninja to do some uh, stuff like that. You need to know JavaScript, CSS, and know how web servers work, how browser works. So we automate all this stuff. This is first our solution that uh, differs from the uh, what market offers. And uh, another solution is, of course, AI. There is nothing in the market, no solution of creating websites with the, the AI. There are some solutions allowing to choose best template in a smart way using some template recommendation system, kind of simple AI. And, it, and it's a nice solution. But what we have created, it's, uh, it, has, it is unparalleled. Beautiful. So how does a guy with a PhD in astronomy and astrophysics become a tech founder and CEO? How did that happen? Yeah, that, that, that's a nice question. Uh, I think the secret is, is that I'm not, I was not alone. <laughs> we are four <laughs> co-founders and we started together in uh, univer university. We studied physics there, but we were doing at early years, some web custom web development, and later we switched to creating WordPress plugins, and then we we switched and we went uh, completely into creating WordPress platform, automated WordPress platform. So we, we saw great potential here for automation and the value we can provide to community of web developers and agencies by creating such a product. That's awesome! What a fun journey. So tell me. I mean, you guys are bootstrapped. How have you focused? What are you focusing on as you're bootstrapping in order to be able to grow? Yeah, but that, that's that's great question. We we spent a lot of time by trying to get focused on the most important things. So I don't think that we without prioritization and focus, one can really bootstrap a company. There are a lot of things that you need, you perhaps think, what if I catch this, if I catch that, if I, I want to also have this feature and this experience, but it's not the way. If you have a lot of resources, a lot of money, of course you can spend that. But uh, it's better to focus and to set clear goals and organize everything, every internal process, every team and uh, uh whole company for reaching to that one goal, single goal. And mm -hmm. this is, I think, a key to building a successful booster company. I love that. I, I, I think even for bigger companies outside of once you get, get, get past the bootstraps phase, I mean, just focusing on one goal is absolutely critical. If you've ever read the book Traction, the whole thing is fit, pick one 
goal that you can aim for and you can set one hierarchy goal for one uh, overarching goal for the whole team, then each team member can make a goal around their own responsibilities and role focused on that goal. And it makes it so easy to be able to get in alignment as a team and fully understand where you have to go. I love that you guys are doing that. Are you seeing benefit from that? Exactly. Exactly. We, we, we got to that point by our experience and uh, uh, our uh, fails as well. So we see the, clearly the value of being focused. Uh, it is good if you can spend some time by doing, by failing and by trying, by getting experience, but sometimes, not not most of the time. So we see, clearly see the value of being focused. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. So you focused. How are you focusing on accelerating growth with a company that you know is in a saturated market? There's a lot of other competitors out there. What are you guys doing to separate so that you can keep that growth going? Then, yeah, we, 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 we thought about what should be our unique value that we have. It's it's not about creating like features or a lot of stuff, but creating some value for customers that why not the saturated market even can miss that? Uh, the, the point of automation, the value of automation, we see web hosting market is extremely saturated. Mm. And, but there is a need for automation. And the, we think that this is what uh, helps us to grow and we see great potential of web development automation. Yeah, that's great. And, and I know that you guys, I saw it, 10web.io's goal is to enable everyone to have an online presence and empower businesses to prioritize growth and creativity you know, over those time-consuming manual tasks. So can you talk more about how you guys are helping people achieve this? We help people. Uh, we know that on average, web developers, they spend a few weeks on creating and launching website from A to Z. It's not only about the development of website, but it's also about choosing of template, uh, getting some prototypes, uh, trying showing them to customers, and later like coding or using some drag and drop solution without code, but still it's manual work. And then setting up websites, setting up with hosting, integrating all different components and trying to optimize that, taking into account search engines, taking into account speed and uh, conversion and other uh, stuff, which are extremely important. So uh, we want to uh, ease that process. And we see that people spend a lot of time where on tasks that can be automated. It's not that they are extremely difficult for automation. And this is where an area where AI is extremely good. There are two types of um, two areas, either big data or uh, simple but repetitive tasks when you can save time by implementing algorithms to do what people do, at least what people do. Perhaps algorithms can do something even better, but just by cloning the behavior and the algorithms that we use in, in our brain internally by uh, for achieving our result. For example, our algorithms for, uh, I don't talk about coding, I, I talk about some easier solution like drag and dropping widgets and page content to create a fully functional page. We mm -hmm. think that this, is, can, this can be automated, to, at least to some degree, by knowing what you want to achieve later uh, as a result and uh, knowing some idea that person can have before creating a web page. Like usually people, they uh, they may have a certain template in mind or, in mind or certain styles or layout in mind uh, when they want to create a web page or website. So we get that data and we turn it into a fully functional WordPress website. Wow. What made you guys realize that AI could do this and could really accelerate this process, making things so much easier? When, well, how did that come about? Hmm. Um, perhaps we, we thought about that 
hey guys, let, let, let's think about, can we use, can we implement AI to automate this process? We spent a few months on research on estimating its possibilities on general high level stuff, technical feasibility and potential algorithms and technologies we can implement and we they later got what we need and we completely focused on that. So it, it's just, just, I think, one needs to ask a question that never was asked before. And on the other hand, let me tell you the truth. It's it's not that we are the first people trying to automate that. But the previous attempts were unsuccessful and didn't lead to uh, equation of a, a product. But we think that the way we chose, it's uh, it's the better way and we, we see uh, some results now. That's awesome. So is AI transforming the website building industry now or the tech world in general, obviously, but how is it transforming website building? It is and it will transform. We see parts, some close areas, not website building specifically, but like digital marketing, web design, when we see AI is already there. People building, lo creating logos or create some images or design patterns or even like styles or abstract uh, thing stuff uh, by using AI. So it's it's quite close to web development. And we, we think that it, it can be automated and it should be automated. I, I would say that automation and AI automation is kind of holy grail in web development. And uh, perhaps some people would think that it can take jobs of web developers or web designers, but I don't think so. Because um, in the end, AI, it's just a tool helping people to accelerate what True. they do uh, to do it more in a more effective way. Yeah, I completely agree with that. What would you say are some of the factors that have made you and your company successful, Tigran? Uh, we didn't have that product right from the beginning, but uh, I would say that crucial factor is the team. Hmm. If you have right team, you have right people, you can get, you can make good idea. Turn, uh, you can turn a good idea into a great product. But without the right team, it's impossible. There are a lot of ideas, and the, pro the, the most difficult part is not idea generation. There are a lot. But implementation and turning that into a product and, mm -hmm. the, and turning that product into a really, real solution, not the not, not type of solution that we think might be useful, but that people use and they find real value in that. So using that mm -hmm. team, uh, having that team, we achieved that result. I love it. How did you go about building that team? What do you look for? And how do you know you've got the right person on the team? Yeah, that, that's, that's perhaps the most difficult part. Mm -hmm. um, we some core team we have from the beginning and we were i think extremely successful in having that core team from the beginning it, it was like automatically mm -hmm. but like bigger team like first 10 or 15 people um yeah it's it's hard it, it comes to trial and error although i wouldn't say that we made too many errors there we, we really made a few errors there, Good. but I don't know why. It, it happens. You just need to not hurry to hire uh, the first person you encounter and mm -hmm. think not twice, but press 10, time, 10 times to, to know whether you want to go forward with such a person, whether you can work with engineers and uh, other team members, not few months for solving some particular problem, but on the long run. And this is, I'm proud of having such team that we uh, we have, for example, an extremely low uh, engineer churn rate. Wow. 
That's really, really phenomenal. And I agree. Hire slowly. Take your time. Don't just take the first warm body you get. Make sure you get the right people on the team. It's absolutely critical. I love that you brought that up. Let's go the other way. What we, what were some of the mistakes that you guys made and you wish you wouldn't have and wish you would have avoided? Yeah. Um, I would mention first, like not always being focused. We understood the value of focus through our trial and errors. And um, we also, during these years, we created some, we did some stuff. We could use um, ready solution for that. For example, for example, we built a task management service that could be, we were using internally. And it, it was a great product, but it shifted our focus of our engineers. Yeah. Well, instead, we could just have bought some project management uh, or a solution that that's uh, kind of standard. So mm -hmm. to spend the, the, the same thing we we we, uh, we say to uh, our customers: don't spend your time on the routine stuff and try to focus on the most creative, most important stuff. It, it, it applies to ourselves as well. Mm -hmm not create custom tools use 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 everything the best available tools and i would also mention uh, that i think uh, consulting experienced people it's extremely important to mm -hmm. avoid common errors or common patterns that of errors people fall into i i think that's absolutely huge somebody has already done it or done something similar, connect with them, learn from them. That's why a lot of people come to me for sales process. I'm sure that you went to somebody for, you know, AI and automation and all of that and get advice. It's so, so important to have somebody that you can rely on to guide you, to advise you, to set you off in the right direction. Some of the best companies had the best advisors when they got started. I think that's fantastic advice. Tigran, this has been awesome. I've really, really learned a lot. I appreciate you coming on and sharing your journey, sharing your story with us. How shall our audience learn more about you? Thanks. Actually, time passed so fast. Uh, the audience can learn more about me and company by visiting our website, tenweb.io, by contacting me on link, uh, LinkedIn and Twitter. Okay, perfect. And we'll put all that in the show notes for anybody who is listening or watching. But once again, this has been Tigran Nazarian from 10web.io. Tigran, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Matt. My pleasure. Absolutely. Pleasure is mine. And for everybody out there watching and listening, please subscribe. That way we'll be able to bring you content every week. New great creators and innovators and leaders like Tigran are going to be sharing their story so you can hear all of the best ways to level up you and your business. So please subscribe. You'll get all of that delivered right to you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And we will see you next time. Take care.